Today we're going to be taking a look at the super special Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. This absolute workhorse of a camera boasts a Super 35 HDR sensor, 13 stops of dynamic range, a dual native ISO of up to 25,600, all shooting a massive 6K resolution with Blackmagic RAW. Most importantly, it sports a Canon EF lens mount, which for someone like me who already has a small collection of Canon glass, comes in super handy. So let's jump straight into the box. Once you peeled off the plastic, you're greeted with a little welcome booklet, complete with a short message from the CEO of Blackmagic Design Group. Grant Petty. You've also got a camera strap, which is a bizarre accessory for a cinema camera, but nonetheless it's great to know it's there if you ever need it. After all, this camera is capable of shooting 21.2 megapixel fully uncompressed DNG stills. To the right of that you get a copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio 16 included with this camera, which is actually a really nice addition considering it normally costs around $300 for a license. I'm really looking forward to trying it out, and hey, you never know, it might even replace Final Cut Pro. Next up you got a singular Canon style LPE6 battery, you're going to get around 25 to 30 minutes max runtime on one of these, so it's definitely worth picking up an external power solution, maybe like a V-mount or a Sony-style MPF970 battery, which is what I'm going to be picking up for my build. If you don't want to do that, then you can also use this included power brick that plugs straight into your camera and comes with four interchangeable adapter heads, which is great if you're going to be traveling around a lot with this camera. Once we take out this plastic tray, we're finally greeted by the camera itself. On first impressions, it's so much bigger than I expected it to be, especially coming from a Canon entry-level DSLR. That five-inch touchscreen is massive and super clean looking. The camera's made out of a carbon composite material which is essentially just posh speak for plastic. And when I was initially researching this camera, a common complaint about it is that it feels really plasticky. I could understand why people might think that coming from a camera with a magnesium alloy body like the Sony a7 III, but for someone coming from the Rebel SL2, this feels like a massive step up. On the side of the camera, you've got all of these ports, including a microphone input for something like a Rode video mic or external timecode generator, a 3.5 millimeter stereo output, a full-size HDMI connector for an external monitor, DC power, a mini XLR audio connection with 48 volt phantom power and a USB-C expansion port for connecting an external SSD like a Samsung T5. Speaking of external media, this camera also records to CFast and SD UHS-2 cards as well as an external SSD. I'm going to be shooting straight to my Samsung T5 as I've already got one that I edit all of these videos off of and it's a really nice workflow to be able to plug in the SSD straight into my MacBook and start editing. So that's all for this unboxing and first look at the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. Let me know what you think of this camera and what you'd like to see me do with it down in the comments below and as always I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah.